what can you say about tonight? We're into the next round. Bananas game game. Um, they didn't have many chances against us. We got the 90 minute goal. Mohamed Anous came off the bench. It was a lovely finish. Congratulations, Mohamed. But overall, the game was one of the most boring football matches to watch. Me earlier in bits. Listen to them gobshites behind the goal with the, on the two buses with the drums and the whistles all night. It was absolutely disaster to watch. Regards to Celtic's performance, it's a clean sheet away in Europe. We're into the next round of the playoff round. As much as we we thought we were going to go there, win two or three nil. I knew it was going to be a tough game. I didn't think it was going to be that frustrating to watch. You know, Riga parked the bus against us tonight. They done it quite well. It was really confusing to watch. Unfortunately, James Forrest had to come off with an injury towards the end of the first half. We had a couple of spells towards the last 10 minutes of the first half. Rene Cham got shot on. Good bit of possession of football. Callum passed it in. We were unfortunate for Fringpon to get on to the end of it. Because they defended quite well. But it's very similar to what we're dealing with in domestic football. Every team has 10 men behind the ball. They're just literally parking the bus. And Celtic don't have a plan B. And we don't have a plan B. We didn't have a plan B tonight. As much as I hate criticising the team, I still think Neil Lennon is the man. Domestically, he's the man. We'd be lucky to be whoever we play in the next round, Sergio or the Bosnian champions. We will find out soon in the next hour or two who we get. But overall, look at B Tom played quite well with Duffy. Oyer played well. Taylor, yet again, had two decent crosses. The rest, he couldn't call the road that's how bad he is I just don't rate Taylor I really I'm, I don't really criticise him footballers but he really is frustrating me he's frustrating me you know and the Chan didn't look great at all he only had one or two decent spells of the game Christy fought but yeah he couldn't cross a decent ball into the box for a majority of the game when it comes to corners you know Christy as I said in the last video towards the last Livingston game he was the man of the match I thought but tonight different opposition Different environment was not great. Callum Mack looked lost most most of the game. Bruni wasn't great. You know, the midfield absolute overall weren't great. I know yeah, he came on, made a bit of a spark to the game. Edward just looked like he wasn't bothered being there. Didn't look like he didn't want to play tonight. You know, he had small spells you could say in the game. But there was nothing really clinical from Edward, like shots and shots and goal. You know, he looked like he wasn't getting enough service at the same time. But yet he came on, had a bit of football with him, didn't work out for him. And then Mohamed came on, changed the game around. I'm disappointed that Turnbull didn't come on, get a bit of first team football in Europe. But okay, Neil Lennon said in the press conference before this that he wasn't taking this team for granted. And he was right. You know, but at the same time, for a club like Glasgow Celtic, we should be going over to Lafayette, beating these 2 or 3 0. For the statue, especially with the star, you know, the star means a lot to Celtic fans, former European Cup winners, and we can't even get into the Champions League or playing second tier qualification into Europa League. It is embarrassing, it's absolutely embarrassing. Just, I'm just pissed off tonight. I just feel like, you know, I'm not that type of person that comes on and tries to be negative about this, but to sit there for 90 minutes and waste my time watching that, you know, the, we only had what two or three good spells in the whole game, it's not good enough. If that went to extra time tonight, we would have been fecked against Hibs on Sunday, big time. We feel the first team out tonight, and it's going to hit the legs, obviously, on Sunday. Because Hibs don't have any European football, you know. And they're going to have an advantage against us, and this is what we're dealing with. And Hibs are coming off a good result again against Rangers, so let's see. Look, okay. we're into the next round, job done, scrappy game of football, and... As I said before, we're expecting this all season, European, domestically, we just have to get get used to it. And unfortunately, he's got me in the wrong noise, so let us know who the man the match was. My man the match would be Jeremy Fringpong. I thought he played quite well, very energetic up there. Not enough support around him to get him to, get him to the levels. He could have went down a couple of times and pushed for a, a free kick close to the box or needed a penalty. There's a couple of chances where he could have went down. And he didn't use them. But overall, I was pleased with him coming off the bench, being effective. And congratulations to Mohamed Anousi, partnering up with his former teammate from Basel, a Yeti. Doing quite well up there, but 
it's going to be a scratch in the head who's going to play the weekend because the boys got full, majority of them got full, full 90 minutes in there. And as I said, I want to take from this game is Barak has got a clean sheet. Beat was quite comfortable with Duffy. Um, but the most negative thing I have to say about the game is no plan B. No plan B. So agree with me or disagree with me. This is a this is a negative video for a change, but look, I better keep the fate. We're into the Europa League playoff round and roll on Sergio or Bosnia's champions. Hail hail up the Celts.